my story out on this trip. Well, why don't we let the man they call the skip? You mean the skip? Why, please do tell. Well, maybe I have a story to tell. Please do not bore us, like the last one told. But if it's as good as the Miller's, I'm sold. I'm sure mine is good, or even better. But first, please let me take off my sweater. Please hurry up. I'm getting very bored. Oh, just shut up. Talk. You talk too much, you little horde. Now it is time that I tell my story about two young men who were kind of horny. Both whom had a wife who was very fair, but they could not choose which one they would stare. At which one was from high society, and the other which had no variety. Both of the men who were strong and studly thought both of the girls were cute and cuddly. One girl was skinny with long luscious locks, would cause the young men to follow in flocks. Her beauty was known throughout the kingdom, and her man's heart beat for her like a drum. The other brunette, who had large assets, was loved and stared at for her large breasts. Her beauty was also known all around, but she sometimes let her feet look the ground. When she met her man, Clyde, she fell in love, and as well did he, they fit like a glove. The other girl met a guy named Winston, and they fell in love and left for Princeton. Our story takes place in a land afar, where both of the men confront in a bar. Give me a beer, good sir, for I'm in love. Well, that is weird, for I am also in love. Thank you. Well, who is your love, so I may see her? She is the one with the boots with the fur. Well, I must say, my jaw has hit the floor, for she is not as pretty as my whore. Well, where is she, so I may compare her? Well, I, I my good sir, she is... I'm looking right at her. Well, she is almost as beautiful, and mine is more pretty, and that is truthful. Oh, really good, sir. Yours is a whore, and I heard in bed she is a whore. Look at them bite and bicker about us. And it's not even for our brains, but that of lust. And I say we trick them after they get drunk and switch ourselves and sleep in their bunks. Yes, that is great, and they are almost done. So let us switch now, and it will be great fun. So the women switched and followed their man, and with that, their new, and with their new men, their game had began. Ah, oh, my woman, you are like a brand new girl. Hold on, let me take out my tampon. It's Pearl. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, my woman, that latch is seriously stuck, and I really want to have sexual intercourse. Oh, it is finally undone. Let a night of fun be done. Oh. Ah. 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 The others had started, and it was going well till she farted. Give me, for I have passed that gas. I thought I did not thought my woman could pass her gas. I'm so sorry for a woman fart. It's okay. Let's get to it and start. <laughs> So the woman slept all night till the day. When the men woke, they were filled with dismay. Well, you're not my woman. You're my friend's girl. Well, your friend is also your own girl. Oh, hell no, I must now go to his house where I shall shake, kill him in front of my spouse. That's the story of the two hot girls, so I hope you learn to cherish your girls.